Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to share my skincare routine. I'm starting by putting my hair up so it's out of my face and then I'm removing my makeup. I like using these wipes I get at Walmart that are comparable to the Neutrogena wipes. They're about $3 for 40 wipes. They're pretty big and I only need one wipe for my entire face. It's important to remove your makeup before cleansing because the cleanser might not remove everything. I also tend to cleanse half of my face at a time to ensure that I only use one wipe. This is half with makeup and half without with makeup without makeup and now I'm going to remove the rest of my face I like to remove my nose ring so I can really cleanse around it so I don't get any blackheads around there this is what my wipe ends up looking like both sides super gross this is my naked face except for mascara I like to remove my mascara with just plain soap and water I don't like using the white because I use a lot of mascara and I don't want to be rubbing on my eyes for 20 minutes you know what I mean this method is a lot more gentle on my eyelashes. Sorry, I just had to do that, you guys. Okay, these are the new products I've been using that have been helping my acne. This is from Walmart and is comparable to Proactive. The main ingredient is benzoyl peroxide. If you have sensitive skin, they recommend you not use these products. It comes with a purifying cleanser, rejuvenating toner, repairing lotion, and cleansing mask. The cleanser it comes with only has 2.5% benzoyl peroxide, and this Oxy face wash has 10%, so I prefer the Oxy cleanser. However, if you have dry skin, you should probably use the 2.5% one because benzoyl peroxide is a little drying, but I have oily skin, so I love it. And I also stopped using the Clarisonic, and I just use my hands now because I was irritating my skin too much. But I literally lather the cream for the recommended two minutes so I can be thorough. And I'm going to pat dry only a tad bit to keep the skin damp for the next step. I'm going to apply the cleansing mask and it is very thick and dry and it spreads much easier while the skin is damp. Also, a little goes a long way, so you only need a little bit of product. The active ingredient in this is sulfa. I really like it. I think it's gentle and only use this three times a week. I'm going to leave this on for only 10 minutes and I'll be right back. Okay, so it's been 10 minutes and now I'm just going to rinse this with warm water and pat it completely dry. And just FYI, this is my personal face towel. No one else is allowed to use this towel. No one. <laughs> now I'm taking a cotton round and squirting some toner on it. I went a little overboard today. You don't need that much. And excuse my shirt, I'm a little clumsy. <laughs> Alright, so I just rubbed this on my skin. It smells good and doesn't burn like some toners I've used before, which I love. This helps remove anything that I didn't get off with the previous steps. This product doesn't contain benzoyl peroxide because its purpose is to soothe the skin and you want to let this completely dry before applying the moisturizer. This is what it ends up looking like and it's not too dirty. So next I'm going to use a little bit of the lotion because again a little bit goes a long way. This also contains 2.5% benzoyl peroxide. It's very moisturizing and seeps into the skin very quickly. This guy is the big guns, let me tell you. I love this so much. It's the Terminator 10 spot treatment. I put this on any blemishes that are forming or already formed and they seriously disappear in like three days. It helps decrease redness. It has 10% micro benzoyl peroxide. I apply this two to three times a day. If I'm going to wear makeup, I blend it in very well, apply it before the foundation, then I'll reapply a larger amount when I remove my makeup. Today, I didn't have any pimples, so I just blended it anywhere I had any raised bumps. But when I have pimples, I like to leave a big, leave a big blop over it. Just um, be careful with this because it could cause some irritation. Next, I'm using this Olay Night Cream because I'm trying to defeat the aging process. 
This cream has a very relaxing light scent to it and it's super moisturizing. In the morning, my skin feels as smooth as a baby's bottom. But since I applied a lot of acne products, I don't like putting this all over my face. I just take some with my ring finger and tap it on underneath my eyes and also on my neck and decollete. But when my skin is doing well, I skip the acne, lotion, and spot treatment and put this all over my face. I love this Blistex medicated lip balms. I'm going to use the green one today because I personally love when my lips feel minty, fresh, and tingly. These contain SPF 15, which is good for people who get cold sores due to photosensitivity. And I'm all done. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. Try these products out, especially the spot treatment. Love you guys. Bye. Mwah.